Well, hello, racing fans, and welcome to It's a Breeze with myself, Dees, and uh, I trust that you, the valued racing fan, as well. And uh, looking forward to previewing this show with you. This show proudly brought to you by Tab Gold, the intelligent bet. It's racing at Hollywood Bets Scottsville on this Sunday, and the date is the 25th of August. We are racing uh, in Imsen Doozy, the capital, Peter Marisburg. Let's see what is on offer on the day. Well, there are eight races on the go. Race number one will kick off the bar pot, and I'll give you some times uh, for you, the valued racing fan, to follow uh, on the day so you don't be caught napping. Race number one will begin at uh, 12.40. And I see the big one, the pick six, will be at 13.50. So uh, where we go with the selections, and we'll begin with its exotic. And in this segment, uh, I am going with the place accumulator. And as you've come to know, all the homework is done, and all that's left is for you to get on, get on the tote. So place accumulator begins in race number two. And uh, the second race, uh, you need to get on by 13.15, a quarter past one. In leg number one, it's all in with number two, Emma, from the Paul Lafferty stable that put in a very good debut run. Go and have a look at that replay with the son of What a Winter. Uh, was going uh, very well over the final 200 meters, and I think that run would have brought him on a ton. Banker number two, Emma. In leg number two, well, I've gone with another banker here, and that is going to be Isi Bulo from the Guard Puller Stable. Well, nice to see the stable hit some good form, having winners at recent meetings. A horse that's run second at a loss, three runs, and I think she does set the standard there in race number three. So banker number two. Race number four, uh, we're going to go with two runners, and that's going to be numbers two and nine. If I had to pick my outright choice there, it's going to be number nine, O'Mandy, who I watched closely when debuting in the province over 1400 at Hollywood Bets Gravel. I think that filly will come on a ton and the extra distance, no doubt, going to suit her. But the horse that is priced up as the top one is number two. So numbers two and nine there in race number four. Then on to race number five over 2400 meters. Well, Cyber Time must have a very strong chance there from the Louis Corson stable, uh, but I'm going to go with two runners there, numbers seven and five, five and seven. I think seven quantifier should be cherry ripe for the run on Sunday. Then on to race number six, uh, where I like the look of Pangola a lot from the Michael Roberts stable. That is going to be my outright choice, but the backup is going to be number four, Kimball O'Hara, numbers one and four there. And then in the last two legs, you'll see that we're playing it wide. We're going with three runners in those legs. Race number seven, the three runners going to be four, USA's Hope, number six, Bourbon Warrior. And then my top choice is going to be number nine, Let the Flag Fly. That it will be my outright pick there, numbers four, six, and nine. And then in race number eight, three runners there. And uh, in numerical order, seven, Grey Fantasy, uh, the three-year-old filly from the Mike Miller stable. Don't read too much into a last start. She's far better than that. Uh, horse number eight, which is Rugger Lover. That will be my outright pick. I like the horse a lot. Samanga Kamala and Tinny Prince to say a very high strike rate together. And then number 12, War Empress, seven, eight, and 12 in that last leg to close off the place accumulator. On to uh, It's Fun, and here we are going with uh, an exacta uh, in race number three. Well, race number three, I mentioned to you that uh, my outright choice there, uh, if I had to pick one there, uh, will be uh, Isibulo. But uh, what I've done with Isibulo, a filly that uh, you know, has run second at the last three starts, she'll be good enough for the PA. But she seems to find one better uh, each time she comes to the track. And my cover there is going to be number three, Warrior Royal. So I'm going to go three and ten for first, but two, three, and ten for second. That'll be two times two, which will cost you four rand. And then we're going to play the trifecta in the same race. And all we're doing is a copy and paste of our second selection uh, for third position as well. So it'll be three, ten. About two, three, ten, about two, three, ten. I'm hoping for a form result there. Two times two, which is four rand. And then 
The pig tree comes up in uh, It's a Breeze, and it is the first pig tree on the card, and very simple. Leg number one of that pig tree, numbers 1, 10, and 11, and I think we're safe. The only unknown in that race is the first timer from the Mike DeCock stable called Destiny of Fire. Keep an eye on the betting market. If that attracts some money worth including in that pick three, but of the race runners, 1, 10, and 11. Leg number two, I'm going to go with numbers two and three there, Emma and Apex Predator. I think we are safe there. And in the last leg of that pick three, our two numbers that we've included for that exact and trifecta for the first position are going to be our numbers for the pick three. Number three, Warrior Royal, and number 10, Izzy Bulo. And that is it, guys. Uh, uh, those are our bets for our race meeting coming up on Sunday, the 25th of August, where we race at Hollywood at Scottsville. And as always, thanks to you, you the valued racing fan, for your invaluable spend on the tote. And together, we can surely make a difference. From the entire team, it's a breeze with these. Uh, trust uh, that you're going to have a wonderful day. Find all the winners, make a huge profit, and hopefully it turns out to be a nice, successful day for you punting at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. Until we meet again, you take care. Salani Gatishle.